welcome back to this channel in this video we'll be looking at how to create gradient color text effect right like what you're seeing on the screen right away so let's go ahead to do that you open your canva and once you're done doing that the first thing to do is to create the gradient color and how do you get this done all right to do that then you select the background and then you click on color then you click on the plus sign and then you tap on gradient so we are going to increase the number of color gradient that we have here we only have white and this uh, gray kind of color so we click on the plus sign and then you close the dialog box then you click on it again uh, the plus sign click on the plus sign and then you close the dialog box you repeat the process until you get to uh, the seventh one that you want all right so we have seven of the gradient colors here so what we're going to do next is to begin to assign colors to them so you tap on the first one and then you change the color code to what you're seeing on the screen and you repeat the same thing for other ones All right, so the moment that is done, then you go ahead to save this particular page. Don't forget to save with PNG. So after that is done, then we we'll go ahead to create a new uh, workspace. So you zoom into the design and then you tap on the plus sign, then come to the second page you can delete this 
particular uh, background that we did for the first page for the first page all right so we go ahead to bring in a text and then we tap on uh, the heading then edit it to whatsoever text that you want but i just want to still spell the word text so once that is done you are going to be changing the font type so you go to fonts and then i want to choose uh, a bold font so i actually want a uh, chunk 5 so you can decide to also use any type of font type that you want but this is the one i want to use i want chunk 5 all right so once that is done you resize it to a bigger text and then you balance it in the design all right so the moment that is done then we are going to bring in a shape you go to shape bring in a shape into the design and uh, close the dialog box the moment that is done spread the shape to fill behind the text but not the whole workspace that you have there so make it to just go uh, around the text to fill the workspace that we have there right the moment this is done i want to send the uh, shape to the back and then bring the text to the front so i will send this to the back and then we can now pick the text in the middle then i'll be changing the color to white all right so i can put the text to balance in the middle of uh, this shape all right so the moment this is done then i will go ahead to save this particular page also so don't forget to save it it is the second page this time around so you save it uh, with png all right the moment this is done you can go ahead and delete everything that you have on this second page then you are going to be bringing in from the gallery the text image that we just saved just now so you go ahead to bring it in from your gallery all right so we have that right away the next thing we are going to be doing is to uh, make it fill the whole workspace that we have here you spread it across the workspace in such the manner that the black is covering everywhere then you just have only uh, the text in the middle then you can crop if you want all right so once that is done then you select it and then you go to bg remover so that you can remove the background of the text all right so the moment this is done then we are going to be bringing in the gradients uh, you know design that we first did so you go to gallery and then bring it into the design also yes yeah, so we have it i want to make it a smaller size all right so the moment that is done then i want to duplicate this then i will just uh, tap on it and click on duplicate then i will put the two uh of the design one upon the other and then i will group them together just to form a longer version of it so i will click on three dots select multiple and select the second one then i can group them together and they have become one so the next thing i want to do is to give it a rotation to a particular angle that i want it to have in the text so then i'm going to spread it across broad All right so i'm going to spread it across board you know on the design just make sure you are doing it exactly the way you want it to be for your text. If you don't like the angle, you can decide to use your own uh, preferred angle for this design. And you can go ahead and do much more rotation the way you want it to be, depending on what you want for yourself. Just take time and then do exactly what will suit your desire for your design. All right, so the moment this is done, we'll be sending this uh, gradient back of the design. So we select it and then we go to position and then send it backward into the design. Then we have this. So from this stage, you are going to save this particular page of the design. So we go ahead and then go to download and then we save the second page now.
all right so once that is done we can just go ahead and delete everything that we have here okay just go ahead and delete everything that you have here then this time around we'll be bringing in the recent saved design so you go to gallery and then import it into your design all right so the moment this is done then you can go ahead and then select it and then just remove background all right so then we have our gradient color text effects and the next thing we will just be doing is to add a shadow to this so we just select that and then go to uh, effects then we are going to be clicking on shadow and then we just choose this glue uh, pattern all right so and um, this is making sense already can you see that we have given it a shadow effect already so you can make the text to be actually bigger in the design so and then you can crop it the way you want so that you can always pick anything on the background so the next thing we are going to be doing is just to give it any background of our choice that we want you can choose any background of your choice i'm just going to choose the background of my choice that i want and that brings us to the end of this design you can just go ahead and then save your work thank you for watching and bye for now